Yeah, this happened. So, when I was, uh, you know, doing my thing, just just playing something that isn't goddamn crim because the game is so boring now, I swear. I probably played a fuck ton when the update actually comes out, because winter. But, let's, 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 let's just see, let's just read this. I already read it, but I'm gonna read it for y'all. Because, yeah. So... Now, so they're just gonna rename a game mode. They're just gonna rename casual to standard. A brand new game mode will be added called casual. Bruh. And it will be fully free to play. Without owning the game, can no one if you do not own the game you can play it. On that. And you will have and there'll be no kill rewards unless someone has a bounty, no combat zones, legacy downing. Players cannot be finished, and much more. You know what this means? People who actually bought Krim, it's not even worth it to buy the game. Why? Because this is literally just sounds like Krim, but better. People have less want to kill people. There's, like, no combat zones. The 1.0 downing system is back, which is actually really annoying, by the way. And I... It shouldn't be back. It's it's so gimmicky. No bleeding out. And they cannot be finished with gun melee strikes. I feel like the gun one should be a thing, not... I feel like the melee strikes one's fine, but the gun one's kind of dumb. And the beginner skill will be removed. Very sad. And there will be a new system. It will be Alcohol Prime. All Alcohol rewards all players who own the game. Required to play the standard game mode. So, yeah. Can be locked by new players after this of a Prime Pinkos. Prime servers will have prior prioritized game moderation. I don't even know what the fuck that means. And now they're adding probably like the most cock moment one. VIP server access. AKA VIP servers. Krim has never had VIP servers except, you know, like devs doing shit. I don't know. <sighs> I'm sorry, that was probably really loud. Yeah, and it, that was feature, only feature non data saving. You know what that means? You can buy, you can do so much testing, you can do so many videos and so much testing because of it. I guarantee you there's going to be a bunch of glitches where it actually does save and then people get infinite money or or they spend a bunch of money for a video or some shit and you lose all their money. I guarantee that's going to happen. And then armory changes, most armory guns will be available to be refilled from any dealer point. That is a huge quality of life. This is sort of self will be available to all players without Game Pass because I just remain locked to the Game Pass. So, bye, bitch. I hope that the Super Shorty will be in the Game Pass one so all the poor people can't be bitches. Noxus Armor I'm sold the armory will cost slightly more there. Safe zones are being removed. That's a good change because people just are pussies. And then, until I didn't read, Linter will be a limited mode. Current casual will re rename standard. New game mode that'll be free to play. Prime status required to play standard slash current casual. All players will have it, even though he said whatever. And then VIP search being added in armor changes. So what do I think of all this? I think it's just like why. Like, bro, why did you do this, mate? The VIP server thing is cool because it will make videos such as, like, all weapons or some shit like that. Like, all weapons, um, like, like, Mythbusters so much easier because you won't get targeted by annoying ass kids. It'll make certain videos so much easier. So, I guarantee you what's gonna happen is one of my friends is gonna get a VIP. I'm gonna go on the VIP and fuck around on it. <laughs> But there is just one problem with all of this, right? Making the game free. <sighs> okay, so this is going to bring in a another another community of twats, right? It's gonna it's the the hood kids are gonna migrate to this game and essentially like like they're just gonna so all the, the hood kids will go to this game because there's no hackers in it. Well there's less hackers. But because it's gonna be free 
there's going to be a couple of scripts. And by a couple, I mean probably like a fuck ton, because there's already a bunch of scripts for the game out there. Most of that just fucking hack you, which is actually kind of a good thing. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I just feel like that a bunch of hacks are going to be all, um, you know, like, made. So they're going to have to fucking, like, just remove this instantly. And also, VAP servers... The amount of tryhards that will forge from this will be insane. So many people are gonna, like, fucking get a VIP and then do, like, aim training with their friends because they don't have anyone else to fuck with them. <laughs> and apparently the game's broke, which I, haven't, I don't really care. I haven't played the game. I haven't played Roblox all day, for fuck's sake. If you will not get RCU commands, like, bro. If, in VIP servers, I feel like you should get, like, every single admin command. Well, not like every single one, but I feel like you should get like commands that aren't, that are like, I mean, they're limited to like just non RCU shit. Like anything but RCU, like, is fine, I'd say. Like, add like a command, like, just add like a little command list and then just like let people fuck around with it so that you can spawn like a god deagle or like the bra bar and like a crucible and you can give other people in your VIP crucible. It would actually be really fun and cool. And it could make so many fucking great videos and just be fun. But I guarantee you all they're going to do is just put Krim in a VIP. So yeah, that's that's about it. I'm just saying that, bruh, that's kind of monkey that they're adding VIPs. Yeah, but they actually do like the, my idea of like just adding like certain things like the Crucible. It would be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, see ya.